but art has always been part of my life and it's pretty much what actually saved me while I was going through uh, through this whole ordeal of uh, incarceration and uh, uh, there was times that I really didn't think that I'd make it. And I had to figure out somehow to create. I had that urge all the time and then I discovered I can do paintings on fabric and I turned my cell into a uh, my studio. All of a sudden, the concrete wall became my easel, and my canvas was these tore up bed sheets, so whatever I could get. And I was making my paintbrushes out of my own hair and other people's hair. Those are the tools that I had. And my models were basically all my cellies. I got to know a lot of different people from different backgrounds. Like this guy has uh, 21 arrows pointing at his heart and he had a hard life. Him and his family stayed in India when the Sikhs and the Muslims were killing each other and he experienced as a kid. I was looking through their soul, you know, like and what, what they could be. He can be a Maharaja, like a big emperor and, and he has that potential, you know, to be great. The situation and the society and just not providing that for him to like glow. And most of my pictures are really like looking through the person and glorifying who they are. My house uh, represents artists from around the world. So I'm very happy to be part of Puma House and Mitra Johansson, that's the founder of Puma House, uh, also have helped me and represented me as an artist, a professional artist, and I'm very proud to be a part of this. They're such a rare pieces. They represent a whole generation of people coming in, in and out of the prison system. Yeah, my name is uh, Amin Mokri. I'm a uh, Iranian artist. Came to the United States in the time of the revolution. I like people to just look at things with a more of an open mind. Not just as art pieces, but like uh, have a feeling for, for these men that have no voice, you know, basically. Somebody needs to speak up for them.